that's going to stay in house. I know you guys are going to try to uh, work me on that. Uh, no, it, it wasn't because of the missed assignment. There's a number of things that come into play with that, and that'll stay in the locker room. John, is it different when you scratch somebody after a goal like that for the end of the period? Is is it a different level of response or punishment from the coach if you scratch them for the entire period to follow? It's it's what I feel I need to do. The, la the last thing I want to do is bench a player. Um, but as I answered your first question, we're just disjointed in, in all areas, uh, uh, quite honestly, both on and off the ice. So we, we just, um, it, it, it's, it's an easy thing to bench a player. I, the last, that's the last thing I want to do. But if I think I need to do it, then I need to do it. And um, I, I did with Patty and I felt I needed to do with Kooks in, in where he was just struggling so bad. And, and this came in from the last game too. Cooks has given us some really good hockey, but the last uh, the last couple of games, it's been a struggle. Cam was saying before that you know he's been the guy who's been benched you know at at, at points in his career, and and was talking about communicating with Lina and why things happen. And I was wondering how much do you depend on your leadership group to be an intermediary in situations like this, especially with a player that's new to your dressing room. Yeah, I, I, I think it's important uh, that, that teammates help one another. But I, I hope, uh, I hope my feeling is with players, I don't think we need in, uh, anybody in between us. I think we can discuss it. Patty and I will discuss it. Uh, I, I think it's important that the players and coaches discuss situations. And, um, yeah, and it, we got a good group there. And, and they, they'll, they'll help, but uh, – no, I'm sure Patty and I will talk about certain things that we're looking for here and uh, try to make him understand. And I got to listen to him also uh, and, and get about it here. And th this is all process of, uh, and, and I told you, and I, I just said it here tonight, I've got to get this team to play as a team and care as a team, uh, or we'll continue to play the hockey that we're playing right now. And uh, um yeah, that's a, it's my job. John, you've dealt with more than a few elite star players in your day. How do they all handle being benched like this? Is this, is it always different for each guy? What do you expect line eight to, how do you expect him to respond? To I, I don't know. I don't know. We have a day off tomorrow. You know, I, I, I'm sure Patty and I will talk and, uh, you know, I know, I, I, again, I know you think it's a, a big thing. I, I think it's part of a process of understanding our team concept, how we do things here, uh, uh, the discipline of, of uh, being a pro, all that stuff comes into play. And I'm still learning. We've got, I think, six or seven new players here uh, that we're trying to filter in into a, uh, into a standard of play and culture that I am damn proud of of how we've gone about it the past three or four years. I'm proud of how, uh, how we present ourselves. And it's been a little bit of a struggle to get to that standard this year. And uh, things happen in trying to get everybody there. And uh, through hell of high water, I'm gonna try to find a way to get us to that, that tightness uh, with a lot of new bodies coming in here and understanding uh, uh, the standard and the culture that we want here. I mean, Torts expects us to play as hard as we can. So it doesn't matter who you are. Um, and I think everyone knows that. So if you're not giving 100% and, and looking like you're trying, he's going he's gonna to sit you. I mean, it's no secret. So um, it goes for everybody, and myself included. I've been, I've been, you know, I've been that guy plenty of times. Um, you know, he just wants the guys that are going to work. And uh, it's not always going to be pretty. And, you know, you might be playing with a lot of different guys, but – for the most part, if we play the right way and, and stick to our concepts of just playing north and, and forechecking hard, I mean, we can all play the same way and it doesn't matter who you play with. Um, so, yeah. How important is it for you to get to line A or someone to get to line A and just make sure that he knows this and handles it the right way? He's a new guy here. Yeah, no, I mean, we, we, I, I sit next to him in the locker room. Uh, so we've chatted. I know Nick, we, you know, we're a pretty open group. Um, you know, he knows. He'll be the first to admit it. Um, you know, he's, uh, he just has to be better, uh, plain and simple. And 
uh, he knows it, you know. So expect him to have a, a good game next next game. And, um, you know, that's uh, that's what we have to do. Whether you're a new guy, an old guy, we have to hold each other accountable. And uh, like I said, it doesn't matter who you are and uh, where you play. Um, we have to all buy in.